Good morning, good evening, hello, and welcome to my channel once again. Today I'll be writing an algorithm to determine if one string is a permutation of another, and I'll just be writing this in Haskell today. So it would be, if I have these two strings given here, this would be true as the, as the second one is permutation of Harry. So I'm going to get right into it and write this method, well, this function in Haskell. So I'm starting off with the function definition once again. It takes two strings, so that's char and another char. And then it goes to boolean, which is the return type. Uh, as I explained in my last video, in Haskell, a list of chars is equivalent to a string, as the string Harry is a list of H-A-R-R-Y, obviously. So. Yeah, that's why that is written like that. So it's permutation. Uh, first I'm going to do a bit of pattern matching. So if one string is empty and the other is anything other than empty, then it's obviously going to return false. And I'm going to do that the other way around. If that is like that, it's obviously going to be false. Uh, so then I'm actually going to get into the code. So we're going to have string 1 and string 2. This time I don't need head and tail because it's not... I'm not using the head and the tail, I'm not going to do any recursion, so it's it would be pointless to put them as H and T, or whatever you want to call them. I mean, I could, but it would just be pointless. So yeah, it's permutation, come in here, and I'm going to do, if the length of string 1 is not equal to string 2, it's going to return false. That's not equal in Haskell. Uh, string 2, that the whole thing will return false. And then using the set other guard, you have to have an otherwise to finish off your guards. Guards are like if, so if this is true, do something over here, which will give the return value, the return value or the list or whatever, or call another function, which eventually gives the return type. But uh, yes, and then otherwise, we'll sort the list. So I'm going to do sort str1 equal equal sort str2. Uh, I'll put that, I'll put each of those in brackets just to make it very clear. Uh, sort is, you would have to, is from data dot list sort, that's that function. Uh, so you would have to put that at the top of your file if you were actually doing this in Haskell. So uh, yeah, this is the function. If it got the strings I had earlier, so if it got Harry and that, uh, that would return true. This would be false, so it wouldn't come in here. It would come down to otherwise, it would sort them, so it would be uh, A H R Y, uh, and then they're obviously equal to each other. If it got this string, these two strings, this would be true, so it would just return false. So yeah, that's it. Uh, the sort runs in uh, big O n log n time, which is fairly reasonable. So yeah, it's the runtime is fine, and yeah, that's this is the function. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment if you want me to solve some very difficult problem you have, because these have been rather easy so far. Uh, so uh, yeah, like or dislike this video if you are that way inclined, and good bye. <laughs>